One University, this is River Region Evening Edition. Still no word on an identity of a man shot up in Carbondale Police over the weekend. Good evening, I'm Jacob Gordon. And I'm Brittany Kyles. A shooting at curbside at 227 West Main came early Saturday morning when police say they heard gunfire and saw an African-American man firing a gun toward a crowd of people. One officer shot the man who was flown to a St. Louis hospital for treatment. Illinois State Police are also part of the investigation. And that same morning, police were called to the 500 block of South Ash at about 3 a.m. for a victim who suffered what police call a possible life-threatening gunshot wound. The victim was transported to a St. Louis area hospital. We will update this story as more becomes available. In the middle of the gun violence, in an attempt at creating a respite from it, across from the train tracks, the Newman Catholic Student Center partnered with Faye Beta Sigma Fraternity Saturday afternoon for a gun violence awareness walk. Many Southern Illinois University Greek Life members came in sport stopping gun violence with drinks and donuts. Shooting affects more than just the person that you shot. So it affects the families of the victims that are involved. It affects the friends of the victims that are involved. SIU senior Matthew Wilson spoke about how people would feel if they lost someone close to them and how the shooting needs to end. Carbonell police talked to guests at the gun walk about the ways to stop the violence. Last year, the shooting percentages have increased tremendously, and I really want that to change, to go down, to just stop in general, because it shouldn't even come to shooting. At the end of the day, God has the final say. Students made signs and held them in the air to raise awareness about gun violence. Many of them left the Newman Center to walk down the Illinois Avenue Strip, singing and clapping together for peace. Yeah, I definitely hope something is being done after, you know, the gun violence I walk. hope so, too. Yeah. Exactly. Well, um, let's get to weather. It's definitely been cold. Fall weather is de definitely taking full effect. Mm -hmm. I advise people to get those hats, those gloves, and those scarves. What do you think? I like this weather. It's kind of nice. Instead of sweating, you just kind of walk outside, and yeah. it's just kind of a nicer out. Yeah. Let's, hear, let's head over to Alejandro with a look at your first weather. Thank you. Well, SIU's chancellor has been prompting his plan for the structural reorganization of the university. Now we look at reaction to those potential changes. Evening Edition reporter Taylor Vessel joins us live in the studio with more. Taylor. A proposal that reaches to every... Five seats are now open on the Carbondale Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. The Chamber's board includes 15 members who represent a variety of Carbondale businesses, organizations, and entities. The organization will hold its annual election in early December. The deadline to volunteer to run or to nominate a candidate is November 1st. Anyone interested in running for the board should call the Chamber office at 618-549-2146. The Jackson Union County Division of Habitat for Humanity made a family in Murfreesboro happy over the weekend. A new home was presented to Nina Alexander and her daughter during a ceremony on Saturday. The ceremony was even more special because Nina's sister, Carolyn Alexander, was presented with a bag containing her shredded mortgage of 15 years. The organization is seeking out their next family to help with, in the, with a home in Carbondale. Habitat for Humanity Volunteer Coordinator Barbara Rester says anyone interested should apply as soon as possible. Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner has made it official. He's seeking re-election for a second term. Rauner released a video today saying he's won some and lost some, but he chooses to fight instead of throwing in the towel. Rauner has already put $50 million of his own money into his campaign fund. The governor notorial race could be the most expensive nationwide with Democratic candidates including billionaire businessman J.B. Pritzer. The widow of one of the soldiers involved with the Niger ambush speaks out. And the five living former presidents come together. Find out what for after the break. <laughs> 